Good morning everyone. Today is Friday, September the 6th. Well, having been a social worker and worked in numerous foster homes, I can tell you that there are many children that have felt abandoned by their parents. They have felt forsaken. Abandonment has got to be one of the most lonely places to be. Abandonment. Have you ever felt abandoned? Have you ever felt like someone just left you out in the cold, so to speak? The word abandonment is the act of leaving someone completely. The act of getting rid of someone. The There's a permanent desertion the act of giving up on someone or refusing to associate with someone oftentimes abandonment comes without any uh, fault of the one being abandoned. They're just left. They're just left. You know, Christ was abandoned by his father. But there was a reason his father left him. Mark 15:34 in the ninth at the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying Eloi Eloi lama is being interpreted my god my god why hast thou forsaken me the father could not look upon sin Jesus Christ became our sin bearer he bore our sins, and his father could not look upon sin. And so Christ went to the cruel and rugged cross, and his father forsook him. Oftentimes we've been forsaken in our lives by friends, our loved ones, relatives, and maybe sometimes it was because of something we've de done or something that brought about ir irreconcilable differences but there's great solace in knowing that Christ will never abandon his people he said I will never leave you or forsake you There's many times we have forsaken Christ. Isaiah 62, 12, They shall call him them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and thou shalt be called sought out, a city not forsaken. But we find that we have forsaken Christ many times. Jeremiah 2.13 For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold no water.
Jeremiah 2.12 Hast thou not procured this unto thyself, and that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God, when he led thee by the way? James tells us that we sin when we are drawn away of our own lust and enticed. You know. 2 Peter 2.15 Which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bosar, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Jeremiah 22.9 Then they shall answer, because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God and worshipped other gods and served them. Jeremiah 12, 7, I have forsaken mine house, I have left mine heritage, I have given the dearly beloved of my soul in the hands, hand of her enemies. Abandonment, utter abandonment. I've often said that when someone loses their biological parents, it's a great, great feeling of abandonment, of loneliness, and you know, there's a scripture that says, return unto the bishop of your souls. Isaiah 1.4, and a, a simple nation a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors. They have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are gone away backward. Well, we sing a song, Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. I'm glad that God is a loving, eternal Savior, not a temporary Savior. That's why we can cry out, Abba, Father, to Him, because He is concerned for our welfare. So this morning, if you're feeling abandoned, if you're feeling left alone in the desert, if you're feeling unloved, I show you a loving Savior who died for sinners, who became the scapegoat, who took our sins on himself and was forsaken and abandoned by his father because of it to bring about reconcilia reconciliation for his people to himself. May the good Lord be with you today is my prayer. God bless.